harmless. So if you look at the anatomy of a virus, it's RNA and then it's encapsulated and then it has these protein spicules around it, right? So because it has RNA, it can't make proteins, you know, which are toxins, right? It can't make a poison, you know, like a rattlesnake. It has no anatomy to scratch or claw or sting or bite, right? So it has no innate ability to harm people, a virus doesn't. What happens though, if it gets inside one of your cells, it can take you it can take your DNA and so it can recreate its proteins, right? Make a lot of little babies. Makes all those babies, they come out into the bloodstream, your immune system says, We don't like those guys, and it starts the attack, right? A two-pronged attack with your uh, T cells and macrophages, and then with also these things that are called cytokines with your immune system weapons of mass destruction, right? Yeah. That's what makes you sick, right? The immune system response. The virus itself has no capabilities, right? <clears throat> so we've been on the earth for a long time. Viruses are not new. They've been here for billions of years like we have. How have we survived viruses all of these years? Coronavirus is not new. What we have in our bodies are an innate system of mechanisms that protect us, right? So uh, vitamin A, right, that you get from your green vegetables and so forth. Vitamin A is actually a hormone that allows you to produce what's called cytokeratin. So cytokeratin is like these little hard proteins of your hair, skin, nails, that's what keratin is, right? Horns, yeah, right? Yeah. Vitamin A makes you create a protective barrier around your cells so that when you eat lots of, uh, you know, dark green vegetables, right, and yellow and purple and those things, you got that force field, right? So the virus can't get in, then it can't multiply. It can be out here all day long, right? It's like a pit bull in the yard that's chained up, can't bother you, right? The other thing is that... <laughs> so can you get to the mass part? Get to the mass part. So, yes. so, so that's what I'm saying. So, you yeah. don't need the mass. You're already protected if you have these other things. That we've been protected for billions of years by eating, having vitamin A, you know, from your uh, the carotenoids, and by having vitamin D, which is also uh, a, a hormone that makes you produce capsaicins, which normally kill viruses and so forth. So you'll notice down in people in places like Vietnam and Cambodia, zero deaths. Why was that? Because they're right near the equator, right? They're sucking up all that sun, right? The other population that you didn't see get affected was the homeless. How come the homeless weren't dying in the street, right? Because they're out all summer soaking up sun and getting vitamin D. Who did die? Right, so the homeless, no health care, they didn't die. Nursing home patients, 24-7 health care, they died, right? Meat packing plants, uh, you know, ships, anywhere where people weren't exposed to the sun and low vitamin D, African Americans, right, any ethnic minorities, right? It's harder for the sun to make us. So, so the mask is superfluous, right? We can, we, we, our bodies know how to take care of COVID and all these other viruses, right? From doing the right things, we moved away from that, right? Putting on sunscreen and that type of type of crap, right? And made us vulnerable, right? It's harder to produce vitamin D if you're overweight. So this lifestyle that Americans have made us a powder keg for COVID. So, so you think it's all you have to do is throw the match on. So what we eat can can eliminate this whole fear. No question. Wow. And what so we what eat, but what we eat and vitamin D, right? So you either got to get out in the sun between ten and three. You got to uh, tan, right? Use a tanning bed, right, and take vitamin C before you do that to soak up the free radicals, or take a supplement of metal vitamin D. So, doctor, let me ask you this then: um, What do you make of the governor's order saying absolutely face mask health, and you are mandatory from now on until I say? Further, you must wear your mask. That's what the governor said. I know, and that's his understanding, right? And from misinformation, and he got that information from medical doctors. What we're taught in medical school is to um, to do things that benefit the pharmaceutical industry, right? So you're going to get told things, you know, that sell masks, right? That sell vaccines, that sell drugs, you know, for viruses and so forth. Because economically, right, that's what pays for the horses, you know, and the light the chandeliers and that type of thing, right? Sure. <laughs> but it's not what your body needs. So again, Vietnam is a third world country. They had zero deaths. What does that tell us about what we're doing, right? Yeah. It doesn't tell you. It's not rocket science. If the Vietnamese are doing, I tell you, who else uh, came out of this? Okay, were the Australian Aboriginals, right? They don't wear clothes. <laughs> a lot of sunshine. But same, breathing the same air. Yeah. Who got sick? the white guys. How come? Because they have been programmed to use sunscreen uh -huh. and their vitamin D levels are tanked. Wow. What's your whole name? Roby Mitchell. Roby? Yeah. How do you spell R-O-B-Y. Mitchell. Mitchell, M-D, Ph-D, Ph-D in cardiovascular pharmacology. Where are you from, Roby? God bless, bro. Emerald, Texas. Right on.